I don't know if it's going to get better or worse. What I know for a fact, and I hear Gary Gary Vaynerchuk say this all the time. I know man, before, I follow I, that I, man. I, 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 that. I know, him. I know. Yo, I know. thanks to him, I got the victory with Crazy Bone. Whoa, whoa, thanks. we gotta talk about, oh my thanks God. Thanks to Gary, baby. Hola, mi gente. Your boy Euphoria here. You know how that goes. Oh my God, what a phenomenal surprise we have today. This is just an exclusive interview that I was able to have with Karen, Karen Casares. Uh, she's a feature on Crazy Melodies when I wake up with Crazy Bone, of course. And we talk about the song, we talk about details of working with Crazy Bone. But more importantly, this is just in my opinion, and it's very unbiased, despite that, obviously, I just happen to be a part of it. But this is, in my opinion, one of the best, my honest opinion, one of the best conversations ever captured between two people on camera. I'm serious. It's, it's just, you're just going to be delighted to just kind of see what kind of person she is, uh, the person behind the music, the person that's in the music, and how she speaks and how she presents herself and just the level of clarity, conversation, focus, incredible. It's just phenomenal content. I can literally talk about it forever. And we even talk about how this song and this feature um made history uh in her country venezuela so yeah pretty cool shit right 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 and i believe everyone literally everyone in the world can benefit in some way shape or form from this interview it doesn't matter when you watch it if you watch it today if you watch it tomorrow if you watch it four or five years from now if you watch it many years from now you're gonna love it you're gonna benefit from it just watch the interview you're going to fucking love it i oh my god this is a good one it's your boy euphoria man drop them likes drop them subs drop them subscribes and i told y'all get on the train baby get on the train exactly 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 okay. glad you could join us though how are you i'm doing great hi how are you hi everyone <laughs> I'm doing great um, as well. So I'm not like a professional interviewer. In fact, this is my first time doing this, but we 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 could definitely uh, we could definitely do this. Let me just uh, get it kicked off. Uh, what up, guys? Your boy into Euphoria. You already know that today we have I have a treat for y'all. Um, I have a very 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 special guest uh here today and we're just gonna talk a little bit just catch uh you know those good vibes uh from each other and i think this is gonna go really really well so without further ado you know i don't like to take up too much of y'all time i have the amazing uh Karen Casares, did I say that yes. correct? <laughs> yes, you say it right. Yay! <laughs> Give it up one time for y'all. Give it up one time for her. this is yes. Um, I know uh, the Crazy Melodies album is still fairly new, so for anyone that may not recognize her, uh, recognize the name. She's on the song "When I Wake Up in the Morning." It's off of Crazy Melodies. It's actually, honestly, one of my favorite songs. I'm not just saying that because you're right here. It really is one of my favorite uh -huh. songs. Um, we're going to talk about that, you know, for a bit, uh, you know, and it's going to be a good one. This one is very special. I promise you're going to love it. Um, I've been speaking with Karen um, just kind of here and there before we set this up. And her energy is the, the the biggest thing that gets my attention is her energy. Her energy is absolutely amazing i'm not just saying that Thank to say you. that y'all know that so i promise you're gonna love it so karen let's just uh start um with tell us where you're from and just tell us a little bit about yourself let's just okay start with that. 
Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you um, for having me here. That's the first thing, of course. Hi, everyone. My name is Karen Cáceres. Karen Cáceres, you can call me Karen. It's okay. Mm -hmm. um, or Casey. Um, I am from Venezuela, but I am currently living in Dominican Republic in Punta Cana. Okay. I'm a music producer, songwriter, filmmaker, and singer. And I absolutely grateful to have this amazing picture with Crazy Bone because oh it's God. something that I've been dreaming oh since I'm very young. Uh, whew, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. I am learning a lot of stuff with him and I'm super grateful. Like I'm super grateful with the opportunity for real. I've been studying music since, since I have four years old. And this for me is everything. It's amazing. Everything because you know what is the crazy part? I guess we're going to get there in time. Uh -huh. But back in my country, before I came here, I, I am out, I got almost six years, five to six years here. But before get I get here, two years before I start to make a TV show. Um, I got my own TV show with hip hop. It's all about hip hop, learning about hip hop story, how hip hop got into our country, what, how we use it, how can you study society with hip hop songs? Mm -hmm. And I talk about Crazy Bone, yeah. and I talk about Bone Thugs and Harmony. I talk about all of them, and I'm like, who would have talk? Wow. And now. I wow. got up the opportunity to have a picture with him. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. It's, isn't it amazing how things like that just happen and work out? And um, that's actually interesting that you uh, that you said that because I actually personally was curious to know if, you know, if, you know, you were just like a, a, a artist that's just kind of doing your thing or if you are a fan of Bone Thugs and Harmony, Crazy Bone, and the whole thing, because... I will say both, uh -huh. because it's just, like, I I respect legends so much. Like, nowadays, sometimes we got some people that don't respect the roots of everything, and for me, it's the most important of everything, because those are the ones that build the base for us in yeah. our current time mm -hmm. and it's even even on a spirituality you need to have respect for your ancestors yeah it's the same thing with the with the legends and and with the ones that you know kind of build the feel for us to go mm -hmm. more chill you yeah. know yeah so um i will say um um I will say that I, I'm I'm huge follower of all their work, and I respect them so much. Oh, yeah. uh, not a fan. <laughs> when we get in touch, and when he say, you know what, uh, I got a better idea. Let's do a song together. And I was like, what? what? That was crazy. I oh my god, my parents. You don't even imagine, like, this has been bringing so much happening to all my family. Wow. Because, you know, they have been seeing me with the music since so little. Yeah. Since so little. And yeah. now they are like, yes, girl. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I'm I'm a huge follower and I, I'm a huge like I, I I study a lot of music, you know, and I I respect all that they have been doing, and mm -hmm. more now knowing Anthony, like the person behind Crazy Bone, yeah, knowing it, Anthony, he's mm -hmm. so humble, man, mm -hmm. so humble, so professional, mm, everything. Like he's super respectful too. So mm -hmm. that has been opening my eyes. So what what i want to be for them in life when, uh -huh. you know yeah just getting that that uh that that influence and taking in uh that that kind of energy and i do want to say for a second it's so funny how 
um, you're talking about, you know, like taking it to the roots and respecting the roots because I've always heard people say this. I've heard, and, and it's always a lot of the great uh, people, whether it's uh, Jay-Z, you know, he talked about respecting the guys that came before him, the artists that came before him. Uh, Beyonce talks about that. Um, I've even heard, whether it's Michael Jordan or the great Kobe Bryant, it, it's always great people that always talk about that. And I've been aware of that, but it wasn't until recently I've understood it. Like myself, like for example, like let's say Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know, they, they, the energy that they brung to music, whether it was that style and the hair and the rapping fast, you know, now anybody can just make a song and just start rapping fast and just come out with that image and it gets accepted. And so many times we don't realize that it started with, because Bone did this, they put that energy out there. They got people a little used to it. They got people excited about it and grew and built that up for the next person to take it and go somewhere even beyond where they started at. And it wasn't until, when I say literally recently, I'm talking probably within in the past two to three weeks, I really just kind of started to think about that and say, damn, you know, that really is true. You have to respect these people that started because they get it, they get it started and the next generation continue to move on with it. So it's just real funny that you said that because I've personally been experienced that and realizing that uh, wow. myself as well that yeah that's super that's super true like and i guess i it's something that you know my parents are a little bit old school type of teaching what about mm. is like what is life about right yeah so that brings me with that knowledge since i'm very young uh i like to study society and how the things go and the trends work and all that yep. but something that i see is that normally society start to understand that respect after the 25 years old mm -hmm. more or less because you you start to learning what is adult being about and what have your your past uh people i guess i don't know how to say it in english my bad uh have cool. been done for you to be the, able to do all these things more easily, mm -hmm. you know? And, exactly. and as a four-inch, you learn the struggle from the struggle, yep. you know? And if I struggle this much, I, you don't even, I don't even imagine how much they might be struggle back in their time. For now, we have all this easy stuff to oh do. Oh my God. It's I tell my friends this all the time that I don't know if it's going to get better or worse. What I know for a fact, and I hear Gary Gary Vaynerchuk say this all the time. I know man, I follow I, that I, man. I, I next that. To I know, him, I know, yo, I know. next to him, I got the victory with Crazy Bone. Whoa, whoa, thanks, we gotta talk about oh my thanks god. Thanks to Gary V because I follow I follow Gary V. It's not that I know him in real life, yeah. but I follow his content a lot. Like oh I, I learned from him. And thanks to how he teaches you to reach artists or reach people that you need you want to connect with or learn about it or everything. And we as the TikTok say, be delusional. Yeah, is that I get the picture with Crazy Bone thanks to social media. Like, we, we gotta talk again. I was just about we're gonna get into. I told you it, that that energy. Is, oh, me, man. I, I told scary you, me. I told you it was gonna be crazy. I knew this was gonna and be I'm crazy. And I'm Latina, like, I'm Latina. His oh message is really going overseas everywhere. And every artist that I know, even here, I say, Man, take this Instagram check this youtube channel like that is mandatory 
Wow. And, 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 and just to complete what I was about to say, we're going, the next question will definitely be how did the song happen, but it's so crazy how that just happened. But um, he, he says this all the time. And I, again, it's something else that I hear, but I start to realize it myself when he say, listen, in, 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 in his words, he say, listen, fuck faces, we are living in the best time it has ever been possible to be alive on this fucking planet i'm just paraphrasing him excuse my mm-hmm, language mm-hmm. yeah and i heard him say it all the time but i recently realized that myself and i tell my friends that i say look man i cannot say if it's going to get better i cannot say if it's going to get worse what i know for a fact is it's open right now you can literally do anything that you want to do we have the goddamn resources for it we got it's just crazy and he helped me realize that so okay with that being said oh my god so i have to ask you the perfect transition for it let's talk about the song how did this happen within what you can say? Because I know there's probably some yeah, there are some stuff here. that I need to say for further stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I totally get that. What I can say, thanks to social media, and also um I will say something because I think that is something that my like this message might get to somebody that needs to hear it. Okay, absolutely. It's like a Snoop Dogg say, thanks to believe in me, too. And it's not to do this all about me, but it's just if I was not being able to step in that mindset of everything is possible, be delusional. Uh, the limit is not in the sky, it's in your mind, you know? And it's like, I know I'm good. Even though a lot of people say no or whatever, or like in your country, sometimes not in your country, in my country, sometimes mm-hmm. it's hard for a woman mm-hmm. to be in the streams, you know? Thank you for saying that. Um, it's a reminder. Like as a woman, because I have received more support in DR in the US than the majority of my country. I know they will support me. It will get in the mean in the in the time that it's meant to be, right? Yeah, yeah. But it all begin with me. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep working, consistency, hard work. Have your mindset right. Like everything can be possible if you think that it's possible. Remember, we are all energy trapped in the body flesh you know yeah so if you set yourself in that frequency that will happen yeah you don't need to change you will attract the things happen you see as the the phrase say so first of all consistency on the videos on instagram i was just posting videos demos and all that because back in that time i was still being a um a new four inch and I was not full, uh, I was not able to uh, build my studio fully, mm-hmm. right? So I was just recording with a phone and posting it on social media. Doesn't yeah, matter the quality, this. doesn't like what gotta, be, what gotta be saying, doesn't matter the quality, use what you have, okay? And I was, you know, posting, posting, posting. The first person I know actually was Haber. And when Havoc from Up Deep, he yeah. actually saw one of my videos, uh-huh. right? Because I use social media, I use DMs, like what Gary B say. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. artists are people like us, you see? And he, when he saw that I was not posting, he see like, what's going on? Keep posting. And I was like, okay, if Havoc is saying this, let's keep going. Yeah. Let's keep going. And I was keep posting, keep posting, keep posting, keep sending to everybody, everybody, everybody. And then it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. I wa- I opened Instagram and I say crazy boy. And I was like, Stop. oh my God, hold on, hold on. Stop. I turned the lights. I like, oh, I like it. I love it. And I was start talking with him. Like, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for taking care of, taking care of your time. Like everything. And then 
from that point to that point because I need to say some stuff for you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. interviews. Um, he told me that that I told you in the beginning. I got an idea. What if we make a song together? Oh my! And let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. And I was like, "Let's go!" I <laughs> look. I I I. Oh my God! I I received this one on the Gmail. I was like, "Now what I'm going to do?" Okay, I got my laptop. I got the mixer and I got the microphone, but I don't have monitors and anything. Let me record idea over here with the microphone. I got like this microphone. I was like, yeah. okay, I'm gonna record it. Blah, 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 blah. And I don't even have that. By that time, I was just like this. And I just do it. And then I was calling to a lot of friends, like, man, I need your studio. Like, free. It's okay. I, yeah. Let's see something. I got you. This. Okay, I got you. It's like my man, my friend, like everybody. I was like, oh, shit. So then I get up with a brother of music, Kiro Beats. He said, like, I got time in the studio. Let's go. We record it. We send it to him without answer to him because I don't like to use auto tune. Uh -huh. Because I say, okay, everybody use auto tune. What if we make something different? You know? Uh -huh. And then I sent it to him and I was like this, you know, like, oh my God. And then he, he was writing, I love it. La, 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 la. I'm like, oh shit. And from that to now, there is a right. lot of surprises, but that's yeah, definitely, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. But it's all about believing in yourself. Yeah. Uh consistency, trust the process, don't force the things. You need to have so much patience, so much patience. And and also believe that the things will happen when it's meant to be, and be delusional. Send your country to everybody. All the artists are human beings like us. They will be boring one day or like they will be with their phone. Oh, let me see this. Oh, it looks interesting. Let me hear it. Oh, I like it. And they answer you. You never know. See? Gary B, teach me that. Then, Gary B, I, you are I, the best. Mm, mm. So, and you know what I love about that? Just phenomenal story, by the way. Um, and what I love about that is you gave the actual answer because this is what people don't realize is not about what you did in particular. It's about the mindset that goes into who you are, which influence what you did. And, and anytime, you know, whether it's anything successful that happened with me, I always tell people, look, it doesn't matter what I did personally. I'm going to tell you what you really need to hear, which is you need that mindset. First of all, the mindset really does come first. It's like you said, there is no limit. They're literally, I'm not just saying that because it's just something cute that people say and it sounds good and it makes good content. No, I genuinely in my heart, if anything, I spend my time helping my conscious mind really do understand there is no limit. The only limits that you set is on your freaking self. You know what I'm saying? That's like, to be it's honest with you. Yeah. Right, to be honest with you, you know, there was some nerve. It's rare, it's rare I get nervous. There was some nerves kind of leading up to this, but then this morning I told myself, okay, Mike, if not you, then who? You know, if, if not you, then who? I you know what I'm saying, man, you got this. And then we just proceeded forward with it. But I love how you say it's about mindset, it's about using what you got and believing in yourself essentially for anybody that may have missed it a lot of people say i'm good at articulating shit but anyone that may have missed it that's the answer the details of uploading on social media all that comes with the mindset and, and not only that have the the proper friends it's like it's not about quantity quantity it's about quality Mm -hmm. because those are the friends that are going to be with you these times that are like, we need to do something, you know? Like, yeah. you need to surround yourself of the people you want to become or, like, working to become something better. Yep. They are open like you. And I will add on that is, and this is, this is actually getting deep, 
even if you don't know those people personally, you have access to them on the internet. I tell people, I say Gary Vee is my mentor. I say Warren Buffett is my financial mentor. Do I know exactly? Not yet, but that's my that you got hours worth of content. No, and Crazy Bunny is so so humble. You know, like he's so humble. Uh, further than that, we like talk a lot about our struggle, each one of each country, because Cleveland oh, wow. seems a little bit too much like us. It is the struggle in Venezuela. Like, I don't want to go deeper in political stuff or governmental or whatever stuff, but uh -huh. there are some situations as a civilian that you live that is kind of similar to Cleveland and or like the struggle is also almost the same. And I was telling him that sometimes I like when times were really hard, I used the this song like I try so hard to yeah. like keep me motivated. And because it's like it's like that. It's like for me, music is um a tool for keep living, you know. That's what I always try to be real. That's ah, that is the most important thing too. Like something that always got the attention about me, I guess, or like I get too much like emphasized on that. I guess that's a proper way to say it. Is like my letters, my my lyrics. Sorry, are re it feels real because like what I write is what I have lived is what I feel. It's like I don't write something that is not true for me. Mm -hmm. And that is that helps you as an artist to send that energy of where you are living to another person. Not send it yeah. like that, but it's just like and like, present it into the table. Mm -hmm. And the people who, that is living the same thing will bring awareness to that and say, I can heal with this song because mm -hmm. I feel connected. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about that. Like, keep yourself real. And that's the only way you will feel, you will, you know, how you say that? Como, como, eh, te vas a, te vas a resaltar, vas a resaltar entre los demás. Because ev everyone is doing, like, they, they are singing something that they don't even live. Yeah. And you are singing something real. People will feel your they song more than the others because they they noticed is that they are real they feel real they they definitely um connect with it and it's it, as you was um about to say um uh, i actually agree that no i don't want to get too deep but you actually are literally sending uh energy to the person uh through music um I, Me, one of the music most, is frequency programming yeah that's Actually. like one of, one of the most popular um answers that i've heard to like whenever someone asks uh artists how did you know that that song was a hit whether it was Wiz Khalifa Black and Yellow um Usher when he did what's that this biggest song I think it was Confessions um yeah. T-Pain buy you a drink they was like, how do you know? Like, how Like, how did you know? They said it was the energy and the feeling in the studio. He said, when we played that song, the way people responded to it and the energy that gets created, we just knew. It, 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 you, it's not going to miss. Because they say that same energy that's created in the studio is what translates to the outside when you give it to the people the same exact energy and you know that's how you know you know just kind of going back to speaking about energy of song we started to talk about something very interesting that i actually really want to get into now is if you can talk a little bit about the energy and the intention and that focus that you guys intentionally uh, put into that song that you wanted to communicate to the people when they heard it and when they felt it? Well, something that we talk about, um, the conversation out of this conversation, whatever, I guess. 
Yeah, it's and like of course, when I saw, you can say. yeah, when I saw your video, um, reacting to the album, I saw you were talking about light, right? That it's not, it's not an album that brings you, or like, it's it's, heavy. Uh, no, it's it's an album that brings light to your life, that brings motivation, or, um, like like do like this to your emotions bring to the to the table your emotions right mm -hmm. it's because crazy bone asked me to as i tell you they love real stuff right but he um what i've been learning from him is that he loved to do different stuff he he liked to, he loved to bring um in a certain way with their with their with their with his song sorry light to the world um or or like kind of as we talked on the beginning um people can identify the situation and feel that they are not alone in that situation that is somebody that they feel like a family because they might be a fan, they might be a follower, they might be a co-worker, they might be another artist friend, something like that. But they are living in the same situation. It's like, oh, I'm not alone. And then you say, ah, oh, it's okay, don't worry, we can we can continue. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he just he um it's like it's not something that he specifically told me in this way, but it's a resume of what we talk and I learned from him. He loved to bring reality to his songs, you know, and with that reality, he know that he will bring light to people in a certain way because it will be something refreshing. Yeah. You know, it will be something refreshing for the lives because they will be like, oh, I'm not alone. There is a person that lives the same situation than me. And I use this song to feel motivated to keep pushing to go through this situation because I know after this will be light. What? So that's what I learned from him. And that's what I... And, uh, it's, and like he, I might be knowing him since a couple of years ago, but I've been knowing his work from Venezuela, from where I live in Venezuela, because mm -hmm. that was my career. Even in the university, I studied musicology. Mm -hmm. And um, the thesis, thesis from everybody else were piano, whatever mine was about hip hop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. I know how he likes to work. Mm -hmm. And now knowing uh, person personally, I was wanting to bring awareness or like honor that with him too. Oh. So right. I just, oh, this is about love. It's my speciality because I'm a <laughs> lovely, lovely person. So let's do it. Um, is, and also, um, there is something more inside that song that in the future people would know. So keep your eyes on the interviews that come. Okay. That the song, the song have inside that they will get shocked. But it's all about, he he teach me about keep myself real in my lyrics and inject that emotion. That's why his music feels so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Because he's like that friend for you on those dark moments that refresh mm -hmm. yeah. your heart and keep yourself motivated. And he is there with light on, on the light too, on the good moments too. Yeah. And 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 wow. I mean, it's just ah, that's so good. I know it's so good. Y'all, if y'all feeling this interview, just just give us some thumbs up, give us some likes, give us some comments. Just, just let us know how you feel and how you feel. I know you're loving it because I'm loving it. That's that energy going back to that energy. I know y'all loving it. And, you know, just thank you so much for sharing that because as crazy as this sounds, I tend to forget that he's a genius. I, 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 I don't know how I just tend to forget this. I don't know if I listen to it so much. I, I tend to forget that for whatever reason. But I will say that, you know, at this stage in my life, personally, I am in such a, a, a beautiful place. Like, to be honest with you, to be really honest with you, 
I live heaven on earth every day and it's only getting better. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that's the space that I'm at in my journey. But I would never forget during my darker days and my darker times when I was going through that crazy bones music. That I swear to you, there were times where that is all I had. That is all I had. Bone Thugs and Harmony, one of my favorites that always come to mind. One of my favorites is uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, the Art of War album. Um, they have a song on there called It's All Mo Thug. And Crazy Bones verse from this song, you know, I, I know the lyrics like the back of my head. It, it's, it's, it, it took me through so much. And there's actually this video when I met him in person, I rapped one of his own verses for him. Um, and I kind of emphasized like, look, I, won't, I don't think I told him, but I emphasized in the video and to my audience, like, look, normally I wouldn't do this for just anybody, but I just got to do this for this guy just to kind of somehow communicate how much respect and appreciation I have for you and just what you did. And it's, it's, it's actually a, a big video. It's one of the biggest videos on my channel. Um, mm -hmm. And people love it. And I rap one of his own verses for him. I didn't rap some shit that I wanted to rap to say, look at me and how, what you can okay. do for me. I was like, I want to rap your shit for you. And it's, this, it's from the song Family Tree with Bone Thugs and Harmony. And he actually said, yo, that's actually one of my favorite verses ever. That's so, so kind. Oh, my God, man. It was just a hell of an experience. No, and with, with, him, with him, you learn a lot. You learn a lot. And one thing, as I tell you before this interview, one thing that has me in shock as, um, uh, in the first times that I speak with him is how... I know I say it a lot, but it's just like how humble he is because he's so big in his in hip hop story, right? And the fact that he is so calm, so respectful, he listens your opinions, he teach you stuff, he brings knowledge. It's not like you talk with him and that's it. No, he brings knowledge. He brings awareness to you it's it's refreshing in life it's, it's amazing it's awesome i'm super grateful with this opportunity i'm so honored i feel so honored and now the fact this is um i am creating a new chapter in venezuelan hip-hop because i am um, i am the first latina like the first venezuelan female that mm -hmm. makes a featuring with a legend in america like it's tracy bond what in my country so um we gonna make this story and i love it i feel honored for it and i'm trying to bring it with me Clap that. as i learn from him really humbly you know like i know <laughs> that is that that is happening but I need to take the responsibility that brings with that, uh -huh. that comes with that, you know? Uh -huh. And you, wow, I, I got to clap that up one more time. That's, come on, man. That's, 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 that's just truly beautiful. And um, I want to, um, um, I'm actually worried about that timer, to be honest with you. Um, let's start a new uh, a new okay, meeting let's go. Yeah, so let's go. The timer don't run out on us. Yeah, so we're gonna go into a break. Hey. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a break. <laughs> I'm gonna probably edit it out the footage anyway, but yeah, coffee break. Yay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna start a new one in a little bit. Okay, okay, perfect. All right. A few moments later. I was actually a little concerned about that because uh, it's my first time doing it. I wasn't too sure how the whole thing works. Um, but yeah. Maybe it's always the first time for everything, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, it, 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 it's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. So, um, all right. That was a good break, too. Um, 
So we left off at um, where you were talking about you're the first artist um, in Venezuela in your country um, that did, you know, a feature with a, you know, a basically international legend, to be honest with you. Okay, so um, I am the first female um, artist in make um, featuring with a uh, American um, artist that is a legend, like it is crazy, but because um, the first um, the first male. I would just say for me is a cappella that creates a featuring with uh, DJ Khaled and Fat Joe, I think. Um, but the first female in create this chapter uh, with a huge legend in hip hop, mm -hmm. that would be me. What? That is, woo! That is amazing amazing and you you know um as you were saying um as well is that um you know it's 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 a responsibility um that 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 you kind of um you have a certain level of respect and integrity for it and you know i just want to say personally from me to you um i i i know that you you will you will handle it well you will proceed with it well just talking to you thank you vibing you know with you it's like this is just truly a pleasure and just a, just a blessing in so many ways man. Oh, just thank to, you i appreciate it oh my god <laughs> absolutely you know just to like share this 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 energy and you know, it's funny because I went back and I watched my um, my reaction to the album. And when I came up to your part on the song and I was just kind of going back in my mind. with what was I thinking when I first heard your voice come on? And it was the, the I will always talk about it is your energy. Your energy is one of the biggest things that just grabs my attention. It's Thank just. You. It's just so refreshing. It's honestly just so refreshing. And I can say from experience, I know people really gravitate um, to that. And, you know, you just continue to build on that. It, it, it just it just gets better. Um, Thank better you so much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, absolutely. And it's like I also said, um, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people would do because... It, you know, again, as I mentioned this off camera, but I'll say it on now. It, for me, it starts with Crazy Bone. I'm a little biased. That's my guy. This yeah. is what I came to the party I mean, for. he's the one that creates the opportunity that, you know, give me the opportunity. I'm honored, honored to be on the album. And not only that, I don't pick, look, look how universe works, at least for me. Mm -hmm. And I trust God like this. You see? Um, I don't pick the number of the song that I'm going to be. Like, I want this number. of No. Yeah. And thing is so crazy and so meant to be that the number 13 is the number of my saint in, of the town I live back in my country. Oh, wow. That is that is. San Antonio de Padua. Yeah. The yeah. number 13 is the number that goes with him. It's his wow. day. So the fact that I don't pick the song and the song is the number 13, I was like, That's just, oh my God. God. Yo, that's just, come on now. Like, that's just, I'll tell you what, what comes to mind is one of my favorite quotes is from Elon Musk. And this is one of my favorite quotes because it's original. It's one of the most original quotes that I've ever heard anybody say. And he says that uh, history favors irony. Um, and it's just like how those weird things like that happen. Like you said, you know, back in the it's video. It's not weird. It's meant to be. It's, it's crazy. meant to be. It's, it's, it's truly crazy. It's manifesting into existence. And universe got his, you know, his flirting ways to tell you 
this is meant to be in this moment because no. I don't pick the number. And the fact that the number is the day of the same from my hometown is like, I know, thank you, I love you, you know? Yeah. I like how you say that. The universe flirts with you. Oh my God, it does. It, I yeah, believe... they just need to, I think people need to learn how to co-create with the universe. You see? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's deep. <laughs> I can tell you. That's 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 deep. That will be like a homework, I guess. Oh, oh, definitely. Uh I I will add to it just a bit and say that I truly believe that the earth. Of course, the universe itself, but I would bring it down to even a smaller level and say, I believe the earth has a mind. It's an active it's got it. working it let me, intelligence. Let me give you a, yeah, let me give you a secret. She got it. She got it. It's mama earth. Yeah. It's all energy. You want to feel more better? Go, go ground yourself in the air. I always tell my friends, even friends that I have from the army, go grab, go grab and, and hug a tree. Not only hug a tree when you feel sad to take all this sadness and bring mm -hmm. you joy. Mm -hmm. Hug also a tree when you feel good and it's a lot of emotions. Bring the happiness to that tree too. Yeah. You know, go connect with your air. Like the shoes was not supposed to exist. Yeah. Because like our feet is like the charger. Like when we touch in the in the in the air mm -hmm. with the with the nature, mm -hmm. it charge us. Mm -hmm. I know what with, you mean. I'm, when I'm... you go to the like mama nature have a lot of conscious. Yeah, yeah. I, a I, I... lot of conscious. And also um, they discover that even the universe got conscious. Yeah. And if we go just a little bit deeper, uh -huh. meditation helps you to connect with that consciousness that mm -hmm. is outside in the cloud. Talk, girl. Talk that. Talk that <laughs> shit. <It's like> <laughs> <laughs> and you can meditate. Not only meditating like people feel like meditating. No, you can meditate through music. Mm -hmm. You can meditate rapping, writing, mm -hmm. listening to music, cleaning, whatever you use to meditate. Yeah. I tell people that too. I say whatever just puts you in that flow, in that state, that's your shit. It could be riding a motorcycle, like you said. It could be music. It could be. It could be your job. It could be working. Yeah, it's crazy how people start to notice this. How things works, but the first thing to, I guess, make all this thing happens to one of the first thing was also. Take myself into that situation. Like, oh. mm, take mm, take time for me, for meditate, for uh, for bring my shadows to the light. Uh -huh. Give awareness and and understand how I am. And through that process, I write songs sure. that allows me to connect with Crazy Bone. That allows me. I, I take in count my shadows and I bring them to the light and I bring awareness with songs mm. that allows me to connect with Gracie Bond. Mm. And through that, I get to the level of love, which is the one that I use on that song. Wow. Wow. It's all about energy, man. I told y'all y'all was in for a treat, man. This, 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 this. It's deep, but I hope y'all understand it. This chick is alive. Well, that's the thing. It's one of the best Everything things I heard about. Possible. One of the best things I heard about, you know, talking deep is put that energy out there, put that information out there because everybody may not get it immediately. Some will get it immediately. Let, mm -hmm. them, let it be and it will get what it's meant to be. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. So I'll tell you what, on that note, um, you've already kind of, you spoke about this, um, a bit, but I kind of want it in, um, a more direct conversation, okay. um, is, um, what, uh, in, whenever you're doing your art and your music, um, 
what type of intention uh, do you try to communicate and put in that? I know you really practically answered the question already, but um, a, a more direct, uh, concise answer, um, if you could just speak on that a little bit. My intention with my music is communicate and heal. Communicate a message and help people to heal through the music. Uh, I feel myself like a tool of the universe. And every time that I um, create a song, I just ask to be respectful of my feelings. And, and they help me out to bring an, a message for a person that needed like me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, for me, it's that like I, 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 um, how can I say it? I work within music or, or I, I don't, I don't use music. You know, I work side by side with music to heal. That's my intention. Mm -hmm. My intentions, my true intention is just to help people to heal through a process, you know, mm -hmm. like. Or being real, you know, for me, it's be real. When you are real, you are human. You you can connect easy with humanity. Um, just understand that I, I'm I'm trying to say the things that comes in my mind Ugh. properly because English is not my first language. But you can connect Ugh. easy to the humanity and connect with their emotions. If you let your emotions to bring, come to the table and you bring awareness to your emotions, those emotions can help you to connect with more people because you are not presenting something fake. Mm -hmm. You are presenting something so real as it is our skin, our blood, our bones. Mm. You see? Man, girl, I had to write that down. You, had, you, you made me take a note just now. <laughs> I had to write that one down. I tell you to, to follow that up. <clears throat> a good one that I heard recently is um, the highest vibration is the truth. And I was like, ooh, I like that. You know something? Yes, but no. Okay. The most important vibration you need to learn is love. You need to apply love for everything, even for even even for haters. Use empathy, as as Gary Vee say, uh, because love. It might be corny, a corny phrase, but mm -hmm. love is actually a real tool that help you with life and and with people and with everything. Like love is what the world actually needs. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you people, okay, let me give you very quick. People think that for go up in vibration, right? They need to go up in the stairs, right? It's mm -hmm. not like that. It's about releasing. You need to release hate, release jealousy, release um, envy, release everything, release um self sabotage like whatever whatever is bad release it mm -hmm. let it go and then you get to a phase in where you are in peace with yourself but all is about going with love and the good and the bad moments you know um, um yes the the highest is the true and everything but for know the true you need to understand everything from a different perspective right and how you understand dark moments with a different perspective, looking into the eyes of love. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you this on that note. Okay. How would you define love? <clears throat> how I, I define love? How would you define love? Yes. Whoa. Okay. Um, nurturing. Uh, kind. Um, nurturing, kind, um, 
remember, English is my second language. It will yeah. be uh, being able to be understandable, open. Um, I will say like um, without walls, with, with your guard down, mm -hmm. it's, it's welcoming. You know, oh, yes. welcoming, yes. no tree, welcome is, it's like mother, it's like mothering, motherhood, you know? Yes. It's like that, that is love. Yes. There like is so say, much. I like yeah, to say true strength is vulnerability. People think. Exactly. It, yeah. That's yeah. True. People think it's, and, oh, being, you know, bossy, and, macho. No, it's vulnerability. That's true. And you know, love help you in the dark moments. And I will, um, I always say I'm grateful for the good moments and for my dark moments too, because people always are um, trying to um, own happiness. I'm not trying to own happiness. I am trying to be in peace with myself and my surroundings. Mm. But I also, um, I also grateful for the dark moments because there are some beautiful things inside the shadows you know it's all about bringing those shadows to the light like bringing to the table understand them honoring them and then let them go because at the end you don't learn nothing in happy moments you just enjoy them yeah but you learn in dark times mm. that's why you need to be grateful for the good and the bad times too. Mm. And Woo. it's all about love. Woo! Because who, who gonna want you in that dark moment? Somebody that really loves you, right? Mm -hmm. Love is the key of the universe. Wow. That is what is love for me. The key Woo. of the universe. That's beautiful. That, oh, that's <laughs> you. Woo, man, you, you're, you're, you're something. You are, you are something. Um, speaking of love, <clears throat> and we're about to uh, wrap this up in a bit here. Okay. Um, speaking of love, oh, trust me, we can keep going, but you know. Yeah, I mean, the people, we need to, yeah. I, we got you, baby, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in fact, um, I, I kind of got an idea with that. Um. <laughs> Um, speaking of love, uh, talking about the album, in your words, how do you feel about the album? What do you think about the album? <sighs> I love it. I love it because it got, if you actually um, take a time to actually only pay attention to the album and understand it, you will see there is a history um, unfolding in front of you with each song. I was catching on to that. I've heard it front to back about three or four times now. Yeah. I was catching on to that. I yeah. It's made it so much more interesting for me. So people make sure to repeat that over and over again. <laughs> I was it's like a movie. It's like a movie. Yeah. Uh, and that is something that Crazy Von do a lot in his album. Every time that you replay the album, you discover something different. And oh, it's yeah. definitely a story behind the album. I got I got to go listen Pay to attention. it again. I was catching on to that because, and this is how I noticed it, being having the mind of a producer and a creative myself, I did notice, I, I couldn't quite articulate it, but I did notice that it definitely starts high and then it reaches a kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, it, it kind of has some dark elements and dark spots to it. Without taking out the light. feel like towards mm -hmm. the end, it gets a little peaceful. Um, yeah. Towards the end, I was picking up on that because I told you, I heard it about three, four times. I had a lot to do. Driving yeah, it got a history behind it. Like it comes with a hype and then it elevates you to a peaceful, um, uh, you know, a peaceful That's damn crazy bone, man. I know this guy's a fucking genius. I, I... He's him. He's Ooh. like that, yes. Ooh, that guy be doing shit, man. It just blows my mind. 
how brilliant that guy is. It, I tend to forget. I tend to forget. Oh my God, this is so good. Um, I tell you what. Um, okay, so this is how I'm gonna do this. Um, I it's know up. we we got the content. We we got it, baby. I pro we got it. So this is what I'm gonna do. Here, <laughs> what we can do is um, okay. I'm, I'm gonna do the closing and wrap it up, and I'm gonna leave this one up to the people. If y'all feeling it, if we're gonna continue some conversation after that. And I'm just gonna kind of hold on to that. And if the people comments and they demand to say, hey, we want that extra footage, then I'm gonna go ahead and put it out. So, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to do uh, the, the, the few closing questions here. Um, okay. What is your focus with music right now? Uh, it's really serious. Like, that was the first question of Anthony. Like, are you taking this as a hobby? Are you taking of this? Course. No. Of For me, it's really serious because it's something that I have been doing my whole life. Like, I'm dedicated to music since I have four years old. And I got proof, pictures, everything about that. Like, for me, music is something very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see some songs coming, videos coming, mm. everything. Mm. I bet but, he loved that answer, too. Uh, I bet he loved that answer, too. It's yeah, okay. If, if, I get it. If you can't, yeah, I but, get it. But for me, it's something serious. Like, I take music as my life. Uh-huh. Like, music is my life. And taking talking seriously as I told him, and I know I was not the only one, music has saved my life a bunch of time. Wow. So for me, something that is, I take it really seriously. Wow. Okay. Okay. Beautiful answer. Beautiful answer. So make sure to keep following there. I would just, that's my parole, girl. We keep doing this. That was literally my next question. Um, within <laughs> oh whatever, <laughs> within what you can say, because I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Trust me, I get it. But within whatever you can say and in your words, what is next for you? Nobody know what is next. Future is not writing. The present, yes, is in front of us. We can work it in. You see? Mm -hmm. um, um, I will say, get ready. Things about to get down for real, for real. Things about to get very um, up and running. Um, there is a lot of things coming, but I cannot say too much. That will be a surprise. I, I get it. I get it. I get it, girl. I get it. Oh, I get it. I oh, I can't even say too much from what I know because I told you I'm very intuitive. Um, I mm -hmm. I, 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 I get it. I get, it. get ready. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I, I can't even say what I'm expecting because that's even going to say too much. So okay, all right. So and lastly. Anyone that wants to get in touch with you, collab with you, get reach out to you in any way, shape, or form, because you you're you're someone to to listen to. You're someone to talk to. You 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 got some things going. I, I'm I'm really I mean it's so genuinely. I know more and more when people just get exposed to you and Thank that you. energy touch them, they're going to say, I, I want, I need more of that in my life. I promise you that's Thank how you. it's going to unfold in one way or another like that. So anyway, um, anyone that want to get in contact with you, however, why ever they will want to get in contact with you, collaborations, you name it, how can they reach you? I'm open. That's the first thing. I'm always open to uh, do works with music and create projects with music um, and they can go to Instagram I'm gonna write it to you so you can put it over here mm -hmm. uh, because like in Spanish English you know so sometimes something um, complicated but in Instagram and Twitter y'all can find me as uh, arroba Karen Caceres R mm -hmm. and in YouTube you can find me as a Karen Caceres, 
is mm -hmm. it is my channel or Karen as as a c r mm -hmm. like on the link of YouTube, you know the user. Yeah. Uh, I'm creating a Spotify now because in my country they don't allow Spotify now until now for Venezuelans. Wow. Look, everything is in perfect timing because they open it, I got it, release the son of Crazy Bone, and I'm verifying. Isn't this just I tell you, universe, <sighs> like be delusional. One more, one more, um, one more time for the people in the back. One more time for the people in the back. They just allow Spotify in her country. Yeah, for They're Venezuela. Just, for the people for in Venezuela, the back. Yeah. Just for the people in the back. They. Yeah, a few a few months ago, like a month ago, something like that. Like, like it was really recently. I think it was this year. They just opened uh, Spotify for artists for Venezuelans. Wow. Um. So it's always about perfect timing, like my my uh, and also um let's see y'all can dm me it's okay like um i always i always learn that from from gary b i always respond message like everything i don't take for granted nobody mm. because you never know you know um so true the options are there you know the dms are there i'm open hi Mm -hmm. I am here. I'm gonna send you a voice message if you need it. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, um, it's all about um be be you, be you. Like uh if you reach up to me, just know that I will answer you right away. Mm. It doesn't matter. I'm fully open, so I'm waiting for y'all. Let's go. <laughs> got it, got it. Very very down to earth. Oh, and for those that don't know, um, aroba that means the at. That's what we call the at. Ah, there you go. Uh, for, for, yeah. I got you, girl. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, as y'all can see, um, extremely down to earth, uh, beautiful message, beautiful spirit, beautiful energy, something to say. Um, uh, as she mentioned, she's very open and responsive. Um, in fact, you know, just through communicating with her leading up to this interview, um, I, our conversation was just flowing so good. I'm like, we got to save some of this. We just got to, we just yeah, got to so. save some of this for the interview. Cause I know it's going to be great content. And as you can see, it truly is. One time, y'all, give it up for Karen Casares. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> phenomenal human being, phenomenal artist. Um, and I think a perfect way to probably close this out is I think I'm gonna play this song. Um, see Ooh. if I can uh get this, get this up here. Bear me one second, okay. I literally just had it up. I'm not sure how much it's gonna gonna come through, um, but I'm maybe you can add it after all the on the edition. I see, girl. That, I love it. I, I love it. All I'm gonna say is I love it. All I'm gonna say is I love it. But I'm gonna play it here and then okay, okay, okay. and then do that too. So I love yeah. it. But we gotta play it one time. And here it is, y'all. When I wake up from crazy melodies. Featuring Karen Casares. Beautiful. Great song, too. I love it. Let's go. <clears throat> Lucid Chart makes intelligent diagramming easy and helps your okay, best. Dad, it's a game. Don't worry. We had a the fastest YouTube ad. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
listen to it, it it just wow man just just flavor this energy that you just bring to the song and woo love it love it love it love it love it love it and within time um like future interview you will see how it's like even more message inside that song inside the lyrics Mm. if you really pay close attention to it you mm -hmm. see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But th that's 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 the most beautiful art, especially in a song. It's like you listen to it, you can hear it your your 300 time listening to the song, and you would catch something that you didn't initially catch before. So yeah. that's when you know you got a good one. And thank you. Wow, just um uh thank you just so much for this interview. Just Phenomenal footage. I just can't wait to just uh, uh, clean it up and then get it out there to the people and put it up on my channel. Just, God, just, wow. I, I can only appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking oh, the time you. and just being yourself, truly. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for the opportunity, too. And this is also start with you making the reaction video. You see? Yes. Yeah, see that's and I love I love when you say you have to throw that wake up in the morning, baby. Oh yeah, you had to throw that in. Just had to Yeah, wake up, it's something wake up. that I say a lot. I love it. I love I love that. <clears throat> Definitely. And, and you know, just the the, the the put the nail on the coffin of that. Um I, I I I got inspired to just do my thing more 
Likewise, because of Gary V, you know, it's just like because I'm a perfectionist. And if you and if you leave it up to me, the video got to be perfect. And I'm a perfectionist. This and, that. And, and, and Gary V helped me just kind of say, hey, man, fuck all of that. And just put it out there. Just make yeah. it decent. You never okay. know. You never know. You never, you never know. know. You, you never, never know. know. And that's why I said in the video, like, look, I'm not going to sort through two hours worth of content. What y'all got is what y'all got. And it surprises me how much people are saying, yo, I like this reaction. I sat here and watched this whole thing. Like, wait, 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 wait a minute. You sat there and you watched me for almost two hours? I was vibing. I was like, okay. And then when the sun, 13 comes, like, okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yes, because it's good that you tell that last part too, because it got some R&B influence inside that phrase. That's why I say it on that way. Like musically speaking, yeah. if you translate that on cheats, you know, musical cheats, yeah. um, it got a R&B influence on it. So... There's more. Uh, see, that's that, girl. We be we be talking some shit. We 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 really be we be hitting off them levels. But um, I'm gonna definitely go ahead and um wrap this up for now. Um, because that damn timer is throwing me off too. But anyway, there y'all have it. One more time for Karen Casares, y'all. Um, interview with, with, with Euphoria here. Great times, great vibes. Tell us what you think in the comments. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. You already know how that shit goes. We're going to keep it going. Just follow the wave. Follow. I told y'all. Like, like, I'm told y'all. Like. It's all about that energy, baby. Even if you don't get what's going on, just know that this train is going you will somewhere. Get, it. Yeah, get on the train it. because we got the vibes and there is more to come. Y'all already know how it is. We out of here. Peace. Peace, baby. Woo! And there you have it. Didn't I tell you this was a phenomenal conversation between two people recorded on camera? Again, it is, in my opinion, one of the best conversations between two people ever recorded on camera. And I say that based off of what I've seen already and what I noticed already out there. It's just truly, truly a phenomenal conversation. Karen, thank you for this opportunity. Truly amazing. Um, and yeah, so as I mentioned in the video, you know, we did have another conversation um, aside from this interview, and it's just as phenomenal as this one. We talk about life, we talk about real shit. We just, ah, oh, it's literally just so good. Um, I think we even talk a bit more about the album and Crazy Bone. Honestly, I don't remember because I've been extremely focused on chopping this up and getting this up and out to you. Literally focused. You got to finish your breakfast first. You feel me? Anyway, drop them likes, drop them comments, drop them subscribes. Let us know what you think. And if you want that additional footage, drop it in the comments. Let me know. Let me know. If, if enough of you heathens... <laughs> Um, say, hey, man, give us that footage and stop being a bitch. <laughs> I'll go ahead and put it out, man. It's euphoria. Like I told y'all, man, the vibes, baby. We all on the vibes. Get on this goddamn train. I promise you go somewhere because that's what it's all about. The vibes, the loves, the energy. It's into euphoria. Thanks for entering euphoria. Captain, once again, I appreciate you, love. Peace!